Well, oh, here Let's we go. Let's have a look. Surprise. There we go. There yes. We go. Yes. Uh, I am, oh, I'm there'll be plenty big cheers much. then. I want plenty big cheers because it's my side at home. It's Gladback at plus 110. Who are you kidding? Stuttgart plus 230. Mismatch here for me in size, in strength, in organisation and belief. Draw plus 290. Gladback to score twice a minus 130. Stuttgart, they're plus 130 to score twice. Um, I'm not going to complicate this at all, Kev. Just tell me why you shouldn't be with Gladback. Stuttgart, they're just below average for me. Well, Stuttgart have struggled all season. They have made this coaching change. They've got rid of Pellegrino Masarazzo. They've promoted his assistant, Michael Wimmer, until at least the end of the year. I think the players have responded to that. I think sometimes you get a new impetus, uh, different training, and players do respond to that for a bit. But Stuttgart are terrible away from home. Uh, their record away from home for a long time has been, been very poor. Gladbach, in general have struggled in the last few weeks. And I think a lot of that is to do with injuries. Uh, they were bullied to some extent by Union last week. Fair. Um, and I don't think they did well enough defensively in the air. But they do have Remy Bansabaini fit and available. Jonas Hofmann, we think, will be back. Uh, he certainly seems very confident about being back. The worry is the goalkeeper to be a Zippel who... Uh, has been their backup for a long time, but because Zommer is so consistent and Zommer is very rarely injured, Zippel is generally not called upon and he's looked like a goalkeeper that doesn't play very much in recent games. Uh, he was certainly at fault for the equaliser against Union, made a bad mistake in the cup as well. That said, I, I think Gladbach at home, they've won four of six. Odds against, I think, is a decent price for them to take the win. Do you not think this, is uh, Alex, could be almost under the label of trappy? Because it took me 0.01 seconds. Because, you know, you get a feel for... like Obviously, Bundesliga has been my best league so far. And it could obviously all go wrong over a few weeks. But you actually look at a game and you go, bang. You don't even, like, second-guess yourself. A plus 110, is this almost too good to be true? Listen, you're playing with the house money. I, I give it to you and uh, at plus 11, you can go uh, blind with a bet because you trust it from the beginning, you know. Plus 110 is a little bit too high in my opinion, but I think that the, the bookies are seeing the latest results of Gladbach, you know. But they are not taking in consideration Stuttgart's away form with uh, zero wins so far, uh, 12 goals uh, uh, allowed in uh, six away trips. Uh, I think that Gladbach has an amazing firepower, mostly when they are playing at home. And uh, yeah, uh, two defeats in uh, six matches, but four wins and 13 goals scored by Gladbach at home. Plus they have uh, uh, an amazing attacking firepower there with uh, uh, Turam and Plea. Uh, with uh, with uh, returning uh, players uh, that uh, Kevin mentioned, I think that this is a bounce back spot uh, for uh, for Gladbach, and the difference is very little. I mean, Gladbach are eleventh right now with sixteen points, but they are just three points behind RB Leipzig, who are sitting sixth right now. Right? So the the difference uh, in from the ten, twelve, and up, it's it's very low. So. I think that um, Stuttgart will have problems, uh, no matter what. Uh, yeah, they returned to winning ways last week, but it was against Augsburg. It wasn't uh, against the top side uh, from the top six. So I think that Gladbach, if if you ask me, I would prefer Gladbach to score twice at plus 130 than Gladbach to win on the money line at plus 110. Wow, I was happy if Gladbach were minus one fifteen. To be honest, oh, because I just sit, I just look at Stuttgart and I'm like, okay, where are you going to cause me problems? Because the, oh, you need you need two pitches with the Stuttgart midfield because they're so far apart. Now you've got individual athleticism with Gladbach who love to spring. Okay, so that means that Stuttgart then got to take a deeper line because of the threat of the pace. Then you add on Gladbach at home. On a Friday night, flat track bullies, if they don't go and put these to the sword, then we have really got problems with Gladbach because everything from, I would say, maybe 85% of all your stats, all your matchups, they point to a home win and you're getting plus money. I just, I took it one step further as well. 
I think they score in the first half, and I don't think Stuttgart do. It's plus 160. Let's have a little look at the official so picks. Why, why are you not playing the halftime uh, uh, market? Let's have a Gladbach. little look at the official picks. Oh, Gladbach, first half, money line at plus 160. I think they're up, uh, and then obviously they throw it away. I'm still going to be 0.6 of a unit in profit. Gladbach, money line at plus 110. Um, and I've got to tell you that Turam to score at any time, a little bit like your Nkunku, a little bit like your Musiala, a little bit like your Bellinghams, is at plus 140. If anyone, if they're going to score two or three goals, I fancy Turan does get on the score sheet. So it's glad back all the way for me. And remember last week, got very, very lucky with the home side on a Friday night. Um, one nil, I cashed, but it was one of them games I, I didn't really deserve it. There was nothing between Verda and Herta for me. 